many of you have met someone so ordinary that if you open the dictionary and check the meaning of the word ordinary, you are going to say, hey, that's you. No one, right? Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. Today, I am going to break the ice with you once again by sharing my story, Mr. Ordinary. I was born 30 years ago in this beautiful city of Guwahati. As a child, I never thought of myself as ordinary. In fact, I thought of myself as extraordinary. I loved reading books on space. I would read all about black holes and supernova and the Milky Way. I wanted to go to NASA. In fact, I would bunk a lot of classes to attend various science project competitions. One day, my class teacher called me and asked, Abhijit, why is your attendance so low? I said, Sir, I want to be an astronaut. I want to go to NASA. NASA? Have you seen your grades? This remark from my teacher did not discourage me. In fact, I got encouraged. I studied hard and got a seat in the prestigious Cotton College. But once I reached college, something else happened that changed the direction of my life forever. I got hit by my teenage hormones and there were beautiful girls everywhere. I immediately dropped my dream of becoming an astronaut and decided that I would become Casanova. But whenever I said, I love you to a girl, the girl said, Abhijit, you are very sweet. I like you, but only as a friend. That shattered my dreams of becoming a Casanova and I remained ordinary in my love life as well. So I decided that I am going to be extraordinary in my career. I worked hard once again and got a seat in one of the top engineering colleges in the country, National Institute of Technology, Allahabad. Once I reached there, I read all about Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. I learned how they had started their own startups once they were in their twenties and became billionaires. I said to myself, if they can do it, I can do it too. I thought that I am going to start my own startup once I leave college. But when I left college and entered into the market, reality hit me. I realized that I do not have the capital, the connections or the confidence to launch my own startup. So I had to take up a small job and immediately drop my dream of having my own Lamborghini. However, there was one more area of my life where I was very ordinary at, that is public speaking. Right from childhood, I had severe stage fright. Whenever I got up on stage, I shivered. I could not utter a single word. But whenever I heard speakers like Adil Biyari Vajpayee and Steve Jobs, I felt magnetized by their speeches. I wanted to achieve their power, their auditory skills. And that's when I discovered Toastmasters. But unfortunately, there was no club in Guwahati. I decided that if there is no club in Guwahati, I am going to launch my own club. And the rest, as they say, is history. Today, we have one of the most vibrant clubs in the entire world. I've taken up a lot of roles, given a lot of speeches. I've also started training others as well. So, have I become an extraordinary public speaker? Of course not. But I believe that I'm well on the path to become one. Abraham Lincoln lost elections 11 times before he became the president of the USA. Colonel Sanders was penniless and 65 years old when he decided that he was going to market his own chicken recipe. He was rejected 1009 times before his recipe was accepted even once. This great man make me believe that extraordinary is not, is not just for the few, but it is accessible to everyone. All it requires is some courage, some hard work, and of course, a little bit of luck. So my dear Toastmasters, I have not written myself off. My journey has just started. I'm sure one day, I'm going to introduce myself as, as not 
Good evening, Toastmasters. Meet Mr. Ordinary, but rather, good evening, Toastmasters. Meet Mr. Extraordinary. Over to you, Toastmasters. 